Dear brothers, uh, my name is Albert Ko. I originally from Hong Kong. Um, it is a small city in China. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you do not know the area. Um, I want to testify uh, God's grace and God's blessings um, in, this, in the next few minutes. I was born and raised in a Christian home. It's God's grace. I can uh, know about Jesus, know about the Bible, know about the truth since I was a young age. And I was able to come to study, uh, not the sem seminary, but for college when I was age, age 19. Uh, it was uh, uh, grace and blessings for my father's end so that we at that time have the financial capability that he sent me over. And um, it was God's grace because I was not able to make it to a higher education in Hong Kong. So uh, coming out to study is a kind of like a, uh, an option for higher education. And of course, it's God's grace that I eventually can graduate from UCLA and even hold a master's degree in uh, social work at Cal State Long Beach. And looking back in my education background, uh, it is God's grace it is nothing uh, that it, it inside me has a, a, a capability, it's God's grace that can um, fill me in and able to do all those. Uh, since then, I work as a family counselor as a secular counseling place. But deep in my heart, I felt that I need to be trained to be trained as a better Christian counselor. All my background training was helping people, and I myself uh, was a Christian claim to be a Christian at my young age, but I realized that I'm working very hard to be a Christian. I didn't know, I, I didn't understand that being a Christian is not about what, how hard I was working, it's because God's grace. And I slowly learned that I need to rely on God and follow God, not rely on my own effort to be a um, Christian. Being a Christian, uh, being in a, a, a secular counseling place, I encounter different people have problems. S serving at church, I realize that Christians also encounter the same problem as secular people have. Being a Christian doesn't excuse us, exempt us from any secular problem. But I realize that Christians deal with the problem using the secular way. And as a Christian counselor, I can't help them. In fact, I cannot even help myself to how how to, I can apply to a, a biblical principle in resolving our human problem. So I the 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 questions that I was asking for myself at that time after I I even hold a degree in social work, asking myself that oh, what need what next what next for me God's if God's put a heart for, for, for helping people, helping our fellow Christians. What can I, what I need to be trained? I realized at, at that time, even I'm teaching a church and helping people, I realized that I can talk, but it doesn't go deep. I, when I want to go deep in the word, I felt that I do not have the knowledge to, to, to go there. So after taking two online classes in uh, at Reformed Theological Seminary, I decided to, I need to be settled in a seminary that I can attend and um, also a seminary that, seminary that respect the word of God. The Master Seminary was known to me, of course, through the ministry of Dr. MacArthur. Uh, the, I I'm always admire his clarity of his teaching as well as his firm position of the scripture. Another factor is the master seminary is close to my home, so it allows me to um, serve at the church, uh, continue to work in, continue to work to support my family, um, and at the same time I can go to seminary training. So I think that is a good, 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 good thing that I can go to a seminary, seminary close to my home. But I, as I was still con considering, I didn't make my decision until I actually attend. Uh, to, to come to visit, and after I visit here, I realized this is the place that I need to go. Then I heard many critiques of seminary training or seminary people they, after they went to seminary, but when I came to TMS, it seems to be a little exceptions of what I heard. Um, I think it is because besides the uh, stand, 
uh, uh, standing, uh, firm standing on scriptures. I think it's a philosophy of uh, seminaries. I remember I asked Dr. Bustos when I came here, I uh, asked him about opinion about other seminary, and he said, others try to do different things, but we just focus on training pastors. And I just very thankful that I'm, I was not planning to be a full-time pastor, but I'm convicted I need to be a pastor after I come here. Um, there are many first times in seminaries. My first son was born after my first semester, and my first daughter was born after uh, before my last semester. Um, I was seriously using f uh, flash, card, cl uh, flash card for the first time, and my wife found me sometime buried in the first uh, by the flash card in the middle of the night, and he woke, she woke me up. He, she th she never see I studied that hard and. And she found me uh, with, with a pile of flashcards after uh, in the first semesters. And my wife, were, my wife was found pregnant with my first son after I applied to a TMS. And uh, some some people asked me, "Oh, so now you you your, your wife is pregnant? Are you still planning to go to seminary?" Well, this is really I, I never thought of that questions, and I this is the way that uh, this is how I answer him. Well, uh, having child, a child is a blessing, and able to go to seminary is a blessing. So I want the full blessing. I want more blessings. So why am I stopping to go? And four years later, I can testify you, testify to you. It is truly a blessing from the Lord that I can be here. Four year comes by fast. After I graduated, I will continue to serve at the church that I am serving right now. Uh, it is the Chinese church in well, at West LA. Uh, I became a pastoral staff there since uh, November 2012. Besides, if God allow, I plan to go to Grace Advance and probably start a uh, MABC program in the fall. Thanks to the Lord for the training. Thanks to my wife uh, for his for her love and her unconditional support. Um, also, my family, my parents. Uh, I, I made different decisions in my life and uh, in, in terms of education, curriculum, and it seems never been an issue with my families and my wife, and they are always supportive, and just very thankful for that. Um, it is not a traditional Chinese family that uh, fa uh, my parents will direct me to go here and there. They always, uh, I choose subjects that is not a not a common Chinese will go, but they they were always supportive and then. Um, always never question uh, my motive and what am I doing. And also thanks to my church for supporting me throughout the training. Lastly, thanks for the faculty to serve the students by having the right mindset of training pastors. And brothers, enjoy the grace and blessings while you're here. Time, go fast. <laughs>